was that? What are those voices? My entire life. I'm trapped in here. These stairs. I'm climbing these stairs again. I need to get out. The voices are calling me. dreams again. I've had them repeatedly ever since my mother died and left me that music box and her will. Harry always said that old family heirloom had something to do with my family's strange disease. If the doctors won't give us an answer about your illness, I'll search for one myself, you said. And in that search, it seems you lost yourself. I don't think I'd ever... Pardon me, madam, but the island is in sight. We'll be lowering the boat in just a minute. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Captain Hodgson. I'll be right out. All right. Time to gather my things. I'm definitely going to miss this bed. Falling asleep to the ship's rocking was delightful. I'd always dreamed of traveling. I've still got to pack up a few more things. Hmm. I think I've overpacked. It's not exactly a clawfoot tub, but you can't always get... What was I thinking when I brought all these dresses on this trip? Oh my, I have the worst memory. I forgot the combination again. Thank goodness I always bring my journal with... I received a... Oh, I love this song. The amazing adventures of Nora Everhart, art teacher. Oh, I'd better cover up my hands before I leave the cabin. I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm a circus freak. Now it's open. This strange... I saw this island in one of my... Harry Everhart. My husband, my partner, and my dear old pal. A brass key with the letter CW engraved on it. After spending so much time reading this book, I We're think I've learned a man. thing or two about We're Polynesian culture. Ready. Okay, Nora. From here on out, you're on your own. Lower the motorboat. Be careful with Mrs. Everhart's equipment, lads.
We'll be back to pick you up in three days. I really hope you find your husband there, madam. I hope it too. I'll see you in three days then. But please be careful on that island. You know what the legends say about it. I'll take care. Thank you, Captain Hudson. Well, here I am, in the middle of the ocean after traveling across half the world, just miles away from where my husband is supposed to be. You left a year ago to search for a cure for my affliction. Your letters kept me close to you, but suddenly they stopped coming. What happened, old pal? What did you find? Whatever it was, it led you to hire a crew and set sail from San Francisco to Tahiti. And from there, to this place. An island in the middle of the Pacific that the locals refused to even name. Everything is familiar. So familiar. As impossible as that may sound. Is this the island I dreamed about? This, this can't be a coincidence. idyllic island, surrounded by deadly reefs and protected with stakes to keep anybody from entering. Why? There's definitely something strange about this place. my things in the boat until I find somewhere to camp. I know it's just resonance, but I do. A tent. So somebody was on this island recently. This machete is completely worn down. The blade is dull. A note written in French. I only understand two words, ill and more. It must be a warning about the dangers of the island. A miniature va'a, a Polynesian outrigger canoe. I feel quite good. I dare say I might even walk a little faster than usual. Those markings seem to represent the sea. I'll make a note of them in my journal. It might come in handy. Looks like it opens from the other side. These wooden figures are called Unu. This seems to be telling a story. Bone fish hook. It may look peaceful, but clearly somebody wants to keep outsiders off this island.
From what I've read, the Polynesians don't need doors. So why build so Oh, well? that did something. Hmm, something's missing here. This box. CW? Those are the initials on the brass key. It opens it. So whoever sent me this key was here. This is starting to look like a scavenger hunt. A carving tool. Well, look what's hidden here. the first time I trespass a private property. My childhood in Newburyport wasn't exactly the most thrilling thing. Is that... Harry? Harry! You were here! You were here and I found you, damn it! Where are you now? Where is everybody? Where did you and all your crew go? Lady Shannon? That name sounds familiar. This reminds me of those slot machines that Harry and I saw at the Atlantic City Pier. But a Polynesian version. since I took such a long walk. This fresh air is doing me wonders. What a beautiful mountainous landscape. This sort of pond is a Polynesian fishing technique. There's another symbol inside it. Oh my, this is so beautiful. What were these birds called? Uh, lorikeets. Cole's lorikeets. There are lorikeet feathers scattered around this unu. I'll draw the symbol in my journal. A shortcut. That's convenient. Now that I've crossed half the world, I wouldn't mind crossing the other half. But I have to do it with you, old pal. Rays of sunlight shining through. Another symbol. Oh. 
I can feel the air is denser here in this mangrove swamp. I hit the jackpot. That's my ticket across the river then. I've been walking. I've lost track of the time. Wow, what is this place? I'd better have a look around this abandoned village. Harry's crew might have stayed here. This fella sounds pretty hot headed. Blowing an ancient hatch with dynamite sounds like a fool's errand to me. Ooh, looks like someone... <laughs> looks like... His real name was... Costas? Nice comb. 